Today we build a modular window shelving and herb gardening system. Besides the workshop, the kitchen is one of my favorite places in the house. In order to have fresh herbs in the kitchen, I've built these simple stands with an integrated water container a while back. As they are covering quite a bit of countertop space and the watering never really worked, I will replace them with a better solution. I have a hard time to decide for a design on 3D models alone. So in this case, I start with a few rough prototypes and settle on slots at the sides that accept 6mm dowels or screws that support shelves or other accessories. To create the supporting structures, I create a simple model infusion and cut it out on the CNC. The first three pieces work out well, the fourth one, the CNC messed up my workpiece and I had to start over several times. Working with a cheap CNC can be more stressful than working by hand. If you don't have a CNC, I'll link in the description to a free plan on my website that also contains this template. Use a drill that corresponds to your slot size to drill the smaller holes and drill larger holes equal to the size of the guide bushing of your router. Connect the large holes with a jigsaw or coping saw and send them smooth. By putting dowels in the smaller holes you can register them against the previous slot and route the next slot by riding the bushing of your router against the wall of the larger slot. In order to blend the side pieces better with the window frame, I paint them white and give them a few coats of spray lacquer. If you live in a modern house with square and plumb walls and window frames, you can directly screw or glue the pieces to the sides of your window. In my case, I had to hot glue thin strips to the sides in order to get the sides square with the wall. For the installation, I pre-drill holes in each side, align the four pieces with the dowel and then screw them in place. While we are building the shelves, we can use the holders for a simple curtain. To match the countertops, the shelves should be made from oak. For the main shelves, I cut a large oak slab in half and cut it to rough size on the table saw. With the jointer and planer, I square up all sides before I cut them to their final dimensions on the table saw. As the front seemed a bit heavy, I decided to add a taper to the front. You could remove the material on the table saw, but I feel safer by building this quick planer slat. The pieces are secured with a wedge and sent a few times through the planer. For the two shorter shelves in the middle, I transfer the dimensions from the large ones and establish the taper with the hand plane. I also go with the hand plane over the front face and chamfer the edges slightly. Then the entire shelf is sanded to 240 grit. For the supports of the shelving, a French curve is a handy tool to sketch a pleasing transition that I can then transfer on a thin template and cut it out on the scroll saw. With this template I transfer the shape to some oak scrap pieces that are then cut to rough shape and trimmed flush on the router table with a holder made from a couple of scrap pieces. The supports for the smaller pieces are made from one piece of wood. I cut them to size and send them smooth. You could drill the two holes to put the shelves in place with a drill directly. I prefer to drill two holes in the size of the guide bushing of my router in a template so that I can clamp that one to the sides and drill the holes perfectly perpendicular and to the precise depth with my router. For the large shelves, I reinforce the joint between the shelf and the support with a biscuit. The shorter shelves are glued to their supports directly. Lastly, I put two M6 screws in each side and cut off the heads of the screws and give the shelves two coats of oil. The nice thing about these shelves is that they are completely modular. 
You can rearrange them to provide space for a small greenhouse or if the plants ever need more light, I can easily mount additional lighting or even water reservoirs. As a very last touch-up to the project, I cut a few thin oak pieces on the table saw, burn the herb names with my cheap Chinese laser engraver in the wood and burn the lower end for an additional protection against moisture. With these signs I complete the build for today. The future possibilities however are endless and I will most likely extend the system in future videos. If you don't want to miss these and other videos please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram if you want to have a look at future projects.